the Oregon Humane Society. When you think of the Humane Society, you're thinking of adopting dogs and cats. There's much more going on here. In fact, a state-of-the-art surgical center where they perform 80 operations each day. Hello everyone, I'm Ken Ackerman. You're watching Comcast Newsmakers. Well, a group of local third graders is getting an experience and opportunity unlike any other. For more on this, we turn to Lynn Thompson, CEO of Big Brothers Big Sisters, Columbia Northwest. Thank Hello. you very much for being with us. Thank Be you. Before we get to this opportunity, which is amazing, when we talk about Big Brothers Big Sisters, we're really talking about enabling kids to reach their potential, aren't we? Definitely. It's a simple program. You match a child with a volunteer, but in doing so, it opens up a lot of new possibilities for those children. They get to do things they've never done before, and they have a volunteer who sees the possibilities in them. And just, you know, shooting uh, hoops with a child and saying, wow, you have good hand-eye coordination. You could be an artist. You could be a surgeon, or you could be a basketball player. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it really helps. Oh, and, definitely. Um, a volunteer would give how much time a week? Depends on the program. The school-based program, about 45 minutes to an hour. The other program where you go out into the community and do things, it's uh, two or three times a month, about three to four hours. And you are a big sister. You currently are. Yeah. How old is your little sister, your fir very first little sister right now? 42. 42 years old. <laughs> hate to admit it. <laughs> what kind of things do you do with your little sisters? Um, blazers games, watch Blazers games on TV, cook, uh, go for walks. Um, she comes over when I'm having a dinner party and helps me get ready. It's just all over the map. It's, we have a lot of fun together. You know, you have a, a great program, Beyond School Walls, that I want to hear all about. Well, Comcast and our Big Brothers, Big Sisters and affiliate, affiliate in Philadelphia started this great new program where you actually bus kids from a school, a school where there are a lot of high need children, you know, kids who are in, living in poverty, may not speak mm -hmm. English, bus them to a corporation and there they eat lunch, they hang out and have a great time. So we're doing that. Comcast brought it to Portland. We're the ninth site in the country to do that and we're partnering up with Barnes Elementary in Beaverton and Comcast headquarters and we bus the kids uh, every other week to the headquarters and the kids are having a ball. They're third graders, they're kids that... Doing the, what? You know, it could be anything from um, playing on computers to board games to having a birthday cake mm -hmm. if it's a kid's birthday, just hanging with the child, but the kids eyes are just wide as can be when they walk into those corporate headquarters. And you had the privilege uh, a few months ago of going to the kickoff event at Barnes Elementary and it got pretty passionate, didn't it? Oh yes, they, they were amazing. They um, had this theme of Hollywood and the kids walked in on the red carpet and, and they stars? were treated like stars, Let's, even asked for their autographs. Let's take a look. Okay. Here we go Barnes, here we go. Children are a tonic for the soul. And we that work in schools know the secret that we cannot have a bad day, but that we can go find where the children are. It could be at recess, it could be in the cafeteria, it could be in classrooms, and our spirits have wings. And we know that, that these children are going to bring into your lives magic. They're going to bring in your lives gifts that are powerful and you're bringing powerful gifts into their lives, no less powerful. So for that, we It looks like it got very passionate. Oh, it did, yeah. Susan Rodriguez, the principal from Barnes, is amazing. Uh, Denny Doyle, the mayor in Beaverton, is right. a big supporter of ours and really cares about children at risk. But I think the best speeches were actually from the kids themselves who just, you know, loved their mentors that day. They loved being there. And uh, even though they may have been really shy at school yeah. and the counselors thought this child needs to come out of their shell, they were not shy <laughs> at Comcast. They were having a great time. And one of the best things about it is that Comcast wants to help us roll this out to other mm -hmm. corporations because it's good team building for employees and it's good for the kids. So Comcast wants to help us put it on the road and explore expose more children to this program. All right. Well, thank you very much, Lynn Thompson, CEO of Big Brothers Big Sisters, for being with us. And thank, thank you. you for being here as well. For the crew here, I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.